Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There is an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilt? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this ford is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? He said Alfred. That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum. Show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled. Trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of rugged strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their faults. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hole you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the king's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We will burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Standing. 
Should find Soma. They'll not pursue us when they have fires to quell. Stand firm, all! Do not lose your nerve! This place is rotted, Soma. Good work. There are forest rooms just east of here, along the road. Come on, men!
Saxon is eager to meet their maker! Here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He'll not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes, that is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Alfred spoke of Chippen, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them? We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you are as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There is much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless causes. We arrive on...
my thanks. What is your plan? We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards, but I can raid this place in moments with my crew. There, these are my men. I told you, Guthrum wouldn't leave us here to rot. Guthrum, some of your men. A wise man once told me we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. I took them to heart in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigur? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Ivor. I have come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't care where we face them. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. Thank you. Thank you so much, friend. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You'll have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to our camp near Chippenham. Thank you, Eivor. You did a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. Let you should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of Fulke's torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth, and blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. And so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor.
Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the thanes. Rhoda, take Erke and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arm strong, and together we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me! Everyone else, go quickly to the village! Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards! Get to the village, and wait for my signal! Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. from my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst.
You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No, I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. with the rest. of welcome and tell you no man ever had a worthier son.
was nothing more you could have done. I should check on Gutho at the feast hall. I should check on Gutho at the feast hall. from the inside. Finish this! Please 
Are fleeing. The battle is won. They are routed. The city is ours. The sex will follow. Good from Yal. We're not without losses, some of them grave. Their king is fled, his paths he struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Guthrum, hear me, Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she's the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes, there is nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. Now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. So my gonna. Who stood at Guthrum's right hand? She will live on in our memories from now till the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead. Our fallen warriors. And speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, 
spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace? I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I have made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its light before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I shall return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwall's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. <laughs>